So Tiffany is told me I need to do one of these get ready with me things. So I figured I'd show off what I'm wearing. I have these shoes. I've had what a blue and a brown pair as well. I don't remember which one I actually killed. Was it the blue? I've worn those to the fair before. Those are good. Mom actually made the outfit that I'm going to be wearing. The dress and the cloak that goes with it. This was part... Ooh, just knocked over something. Uh, this was actually one of these that we've turned into kind of like a chain. And I have a unicorn necklace. To complete the set, I might add the uh, metal elf ears that I have and the tiara that goes with it, but I'll see. The ankle's not the best, but ta -da, I'll tell my dad for now. My dad has left. He doesn't want to be in the shot. Whoa. That's probably Tiffany yelling at me. So the lighting is probably trash, and honestly, I'm not entirely sure this thing's gonna stay on my head all day. But we made it to the fair. Tiffany's here, Diana's here, Dad did not get to come this year. I don't know if I said that beforehand. Oh well, also, again, I apologize for the lighting. You haven't said anything beforehand, you said you didn't do your intro yet. Well, I did my get ready with me, and I, he was in that, so I don't know. Either way, we're here like 20 minutes before the pre-show starts. Which was the goal. But we got really close, because we're here, and the gate is literally right there. So, uh, they did think that we were supposed to be working, so they nearly parked us with the rest of the workers. I mean, they always think that people are working when they're not. I mean, it's just because you look so fabulous. Uh-huh. Well, that's the wrong thing, but oh well. It works too, I guess. What? My ears went through all my ears. <laughs> 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 To be fair, you might still be able to claim a pony. Fortunately, I am a man of the sea. And while I do not have any sea horses on me right now, I have the next best thing. The unicorn of the sea. The horse. Not the non-war. Yes. I thought it's only appropriate to give it to you, Lady Douglas. No, no, Mary, don't jump, don't That's a full-time job looking after these princesses for the king, I swear. They're going to make my hair spread for you by the end of the weekend. I only have a few grey hair, and I'm at the right age. I said I'm at the right hey. young age of it. All right, I'm 13, all right? Uh, 13 is not old. Does 30 sound old to you? Exactly. See, these people agree with me. I'm not that old. I'm still young as a spring child. He's never really old. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, Francis. Father, I am. 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 I
I'll be honest, I was expecting to spend a lot more time at sea, but uh, these past few months on the progress have been actually enjoyable. I don't think I've ever had a, what do you call it, vacation before. Or any time off. Although, do you know what's going on? London because my my coin purse is getting a little light. Like, well, your your father, well, he doesn't pay me exactly. I pay for myself to wonder because I'm a privateer, but since I haven't been at sea, I think it's safe. Yeah, I show privateer. No, he doesn't give me an allowance. What am I, his child? Henry and I are not that far away in age. Raining is better for him, right? Ooh! And then I could get um, in the wire. I think that's a fantastic idea, Princess. But unfortunately, I haven't seen your father anywhere today. We did run away from you. Yes, we did. Yes, and I followed strictly after because as much as I love playing along with the princesses, you know, I, I do still have to watch Ah, uh, that is our dance mistress. Snip, snip, snip. Hot, hot, girls, hot. I hate to tell you this, but you do know what's standing on top of the parapet, which is what the king addresses the choir that starts the day, yes? Uh, well, yeah, no, any minute now, he's probably going to be up here. So you two better think of a hiding spot. I mean, there's no telling when Lord Davenport is going to be here and announce the royal court. Could be any minute now. And now it's Speaking of, speaking of, royal court, Huzzah! 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 Good people, excuse me one moment while I have to dress down my daughter, Mary. <laughs> Margaret. You are very uncute, very undemure, and very unmindful. These things are not the way a princess would act. Neither of I know that is untrue. I heard them all. Now, good people, I am so welcome to be here in Morlandshire, and I love each and every one of you. I love you. Today. This is one of my favorite places to go on progress. Well, we love focusing on the happy memories here. We were married here in Morningside. And we were married here. We were married in Westminster. Henry, no one believes that anymore. We had the official ceremony in Westminster, but the secret ceremony was here. <laughs> That's right. I, I do remember how beautiful the ceremony was. Indeed. After all, it's our 18 month anniversary, and everyone knows what year that is. Yes. Don't do the math. 18, 18 month anniversary. Fourth day. Right. I'll have a gift ready for you on this day. I have it prepared. Oh, excellent. Well, what is it? <laughs> I am having it prepared. Uh, someone is having it done as we speak. I'm working on it. It'll be ready by the end. Excellent, well, get right to it. See, it is all ready, almost complete. Oh, I knew it, Henry, but surely I shouldn't be the only one to get present. What other entertainments are Oh, we have several entertainments, don't we, Mayor? Oh, while you're messaging, yes, we do have several entertainments that the tire will tell you because I forget. Really not because I didn't. Hello. Oh, really? As always. I'm Donna. Okay, first, would you sign this for me? Yes. Here's a uh, Sherpa. Sure. Or if you uh, want to use yours, that's cool. Uh, over here? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah. 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 I still I have that little uh, that little um, the crossbow. Yeah, it's, it's, I keep it by the side of my bed, you know. Just in, fair. Just you know, in if, case. if an intruder comes in, I'm sure it'll help. Oh yeah, yeah, just in case, you know. Did you like triple tape it? I didn't think I did. Uh, I must have. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see. 
<laughs> is it a pocket hog? Yeah. A, what is it? What one is it? Is it like a whale? It's, it's a shark. It's a little shark. It's a shark with an inflatable. Oh my god. Because you know that oh, makes sense. Yeah. Of course it does. Oh, it's a, oh, a dragon. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. I will say mine's a little bit more chaotic. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> he wasn't done. Oh, I'm sorry. I think there's still something with it. I think there's a piece of paper. There's a saying I think that comes with it. I'm sorry. Thought he saw it. I'm sorry. That is, I gotta say, that's how I live my life. <laughs> that's the only way to do it. I live like a dragon. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there's me. So sweet. One of them I think you'll find absolutely hilarious. Okay, cool. All right. First of all, we have lemon, lemon, lime strips, hand sanitizer. Definitely yes. something needed here. Need but that's not the funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can shoot it with your crossbow. You can. I could, He's another huh? target. Yep. <laughs> or. Ooh, dragon. Ironic, Ooh, it goes with your thing. Man. Okay, I'm gonna put that on my vest. Hmm? Oh, that's so cute! Cool dragon fan. Very cute! <laughs> I forgot about that. Is this an air freshener? No, it's a little notepad. Oh, it's a notepad? Uh huh. God, you got it. I forgot about him. <laughs> he doesn't really go well with the dragon. Keep it up. Just a little. <laughs> You're so dang cute. I've... Ooh, a nice little knife. Yep, it's a knife. But it's also a parrot! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, what is this? That's the thing that you would have a little bit of fun with. Catapult? Yeah. Oh my god. You get to fling little cats. Oh my god. Isn't that the best statement ever? <laughs> fling the cats. It's a little catapult. It's a little catapult that you get to chuck cats with. It comes with the little cats. It's such a great idea. I know. I think so. We're gonna we're gonna play with this with, with Fred our cat. Fair. Oh my god, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. You are so
<laughs> Look at them. Cheeky. Maybe. You place the ducks. And now we just get the stare yep. dead on it so nobody takes the ducks. Fair. To be fair, everything is still there. I mean, he's not just gonna not walk out with the queen. Fair. No, I meant the ducks. No, he's fine. But I was babysitting them. Make way for the royal court. I think I'm in the way of the royal court. Make way to the royal court. Mm -hmm. Yep, there they are. Hopefully not. Oh look, it's a little king duck. <laughs> Don't sit on the duck. Thank you for allowing me to join you. I do apologize for my mistake. He's alright. He's a difficult thing to run out of his ears. Understandable. I prior to the attack, I could also take it. I'm glad you joined us on this day, and for no other reason, I'm going to see if I can find seven. Excuse me? Yes, I think you're bowing the wrong way, young master. He's conquering at least to the same. I do. That would be. I wonder who might be. I can't. I can't get. I have no theories. None whatsoever. Woof. It was that one. I did. I know. Oh, yeah. You did place them. I do appreciate that you still have the little box. Oh yes. Hey, the princess had the idea that it was much more effective. Oh, yeah. yes, because the pouches would get stuck. Ah. And they also don't touch yes, as a, yes, the princess was very clever, and so I blatantly copied. There. <laughs> but yes, yeah. the most useful. Thank you. What's going on back here? Absolutely nothing anymore. Nothing for people to worry about. I do have to just rapture the moment. Yeah. Sorry. I, feel, I think she's going to love it, though. It's a great picture. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? 
Save it for later. Right. Okay. Now I have to warn you. Should she close her eyes first? Yes, go ahead and close your eyes. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to love it because if you don't, there's going to be concern. Cut out your hands. Alright, mm. right. pen is on top. Here's the pen. Alright. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Need to come back. Are you hot? I'm hot. Nah, not really. Okay, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting on the reeling rogues. Should let them know. Probably. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Morgan, you ready? Are you, are you ready? Declan, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> We're the reeling rogues. <laughs> You've made it to the show, as have we. So it's very convenient. That's where we need to be. Fair. And we're going to be sharing with you over the next half hour or so some Celtic music. Which is to say some songs, some stories, a little bit of history. And we're going to start off with an old melody. This is a melody that's been around for about 500 years. It was penned by the Orangemen after their victory at the Battle of the Boyne. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a river, it doesn't, it doesn't, well, I mean, it kind of bounces. And then about 40 years later, it made its way into the woods to the native Irish. And they turned that melody into the war cry of Munster. It sounds delicious. Or in Gaelic, Roscaha na Mua. It sounds delicious. <laughs> And for about 250 years, thus it remained until the Irish War of Independence. When the Bean Brothers then gave me probably one of my favorite rebel tunes, and they took that melody and wrote, Come out, ya black and tans.
Nature's Educators, and we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization from Colorado. So we drove all the way out here to give you guys an awesome show. Um, and so before we get started, I just have a couple of simple but hopefully easy rules for you guys. Um, we ask that, especially if you guys have little kiddos, things like that, please make sure they stay seated during the show um, because we don't want them running around chasing the birds, especially up here in the front as we'll have a bird coming out uh, from underneath our tent area. So please just make sure you hold on to your little kiddos so they don't uh, get hurt or our birds get hurt. And if any of our birds move through the audience, please do not reach out and try and touch them. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. Now, the animals we're going to show you guys today are not animals that you could keep at home as a pet. So we actually hold a bunch of different government licenses in order to have our special friends. We're licensed by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, the United States Department of Agriculture, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, because that's our home state, and we picked up a Pennsylvania Game and Fish license as well to be able to bring our birds to you. So you guys are here to see some raptors, right? Raptors! Yeah. Awesome. Raptors are really special different types of birds of prey. There's lots of different kinds, and they all have really amazing adaptations and tools on their bodies to help them find, catch, and kill their prey. All of these birds have sharp, powerful talons to grab their prey, and a nice curved beak to be able to eat their prey. We like to call those their forks and their knives. So, help them to eat their prey, we catch their prey, things like that. Now, all of these birds have absolutely amazing eyesight. Their vision is about 10 to 12 times better than ours. So, if we had eyes like a hawk or a falcon, we would be able to read the rules that sit all the way up on the haunted dungeon. You can't currently see it right now, the door's open, there's people in front of it, but there's really fine print that we'd be able to read if we were a bird. Now, some of them have an excellent sense of hearing, and some, but very, very few, have an excellent sense of smell. Have you guys ever heard the tale that you should never touch a baby bird because it's going to get human scent on it and the mom's going to inject the baby? How many of you have heard that? Like all of us, right? It's actually a really bad wives tale. Most birds actually do not have a sense of smell at all. So if you can't smell anything, there is no human scent to reject. For those that do have a sense of smell, they haven't come up and smelled people's hands and said, oh, that's what they smell like. Let's go tell all the other birds, right? Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty silly now that we talk about it. In reality, if you guys find injured or orphaned wildlife, the first thing you should do, if it is safe to do so, is call a wildlife professional, like the Wild Bird Recovery Group down the road. If that bird's in immediate danger, like in a road, you can try and like at least move it off of the road. But make sure you reach out to a professional before intervening, um, because sometimes that bird doesn't need help. I think, this is all just conjecture, but I think where that wise tale comes from is from fledglings learning to fly. When that bird needs to fly, they're gonna jump out of the nest. And if you put a fledgling back in a nest, what are they gonna do? They're gonna jump right back out, right? The mom's not kicking them out, they're just learning how to fly. So it's best to reach out to a professional to see if that bird even needs help in the first place. Now with that, have any of you guys ever visited Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, or farther south from there? Okay, quite a few of you guys. If you guys were paying attention to the birds in those areas, you may have had the opportunity to meet this first bird that we have for you guys. So let's see if any of you recognize him as he comes out. All right, what do you guys think? What is this guy? Any guesses? No idea. He's a hawk. Good job. He is indeed a hawk. I heard it somewhere. This is our Harris hawk. Named after Edward Harris, who was the first person to study the Harris hawk. But this bird specifically, his name is Zeus, and he was originally hatched specifically for the sport of falconry. Falconry is the oldest sport in the world and was done during the Renaissance times. And so, usually back then, the king or queen would have a royal falconer that would fly the birds for them, do all the nice work for them. Maybe they'd go out for the day, go and try and hunt a squirrel or a duck, bring it back to the royal court to be able to eat that night. But after Zeus did that job for a couple of years, he was then gifted to us to be a teaching bird instead for shows like this. So he does a really good job. Now, if you were to live in the desert southwest, like Arizona, Texas, and New Mexico, what would be the hardest things to find in the desert? Water and? 
Food, good job. Water and food are both really difficult to find. Now, thankfully, for most predators, they get almost all of their water from their food to begin with. And even for the other animals that are living in the desert, they also get water from the things they're eating, like the cactus and stuff like that. So they don't have to worry too much about finding water sources because they're getting it from their food. Now, as far as food goes, that's also pretty difficult to find. He is going to hunt anything that he thinks he can catch, whether that be a cricket, an insect of any kind, frogs, lizards, toads, snakes, especially, mice and rats, and things like rabbits and jackrabbits. Jackrabbits are huge, for those who haven't seen them before. They're about this long, and they're about this tall, plus their ears, and they can weigh up to 12 pounds. How much do you guys think that Zeus weighs? Five. Three, five, seven, seven, four, pound and a half. Oh, nice. Wow. So if he tried to take that rabbit all by himself, he could potentially get hurt or even die. So Paris hawks have to get creative. This is the only hawk that we are aware of that hunts cooperatively in a pack. Average pack size is three to five individuals. And so what they do is they actually set up ambush hunts to take down their prey and then working together they can take down those large rabbits. They'll send the youngest bird to scare the prey out from wherever it might be hiding, whether it's a bush or a cactus, while the older, more experienced birds are set up ready to ambush that prey. Now because they're a social species, you have to have a way to communicate. So as I'm sure some of you guys can hear, he's making a variety of little vocalizations here and there. But if you were to actually vocalize while you're out hunting, you're probably going to give your position away. So, Harris Hawks currently has 16 recognized tail signals that they use to communicate to each other without having to make any sound when they are out hunting together in a pack, which I think is pretty cool. Now, very often when we have our hawks out, people get this bird confused for a falcon. And they're actually not related. Falcons are more related to a parrot than they are to a hawk. In fact, their body shapes and their head shapes are very similar to a parrot. So we're going to give you guys a few tips to tell the difference between a hawk and a falcon. When you look at this bird, does he look really serious, kind of like he's glaring at you? That's a hawk and an eagle thing. These birds have a built-in bone ridge over their eyes that acts as a hat. Notice most of the prey items he's hunting are things on the ground. So as he's soaring around with his big, broad wings, he's always looking down for different prey items. So the super orbital ridge acts as a built-in hat. Hawks also kill their prey by squeezing with their feet. These guys are going to be catching their prey and squeezing very, very hard. So they have short, stubby, but very powerful feet to catch their prey. If you were to see a falcon in comparison, falcons are hunting other birds, which means everything about a falcon is built differently. They actually have dark stripes under their eyes instead of a hat to help them absorb the sunlight as they're flying around. If you're chasing a bird through the air and you look right at the sun, a hat's no longer going to help you, but that dark malar stripe will. I want to be a nuisance. You gotta go with me. I will. I just want to make sure Diana knows where the crap we are. I said we're nuts. We're still at the real nuts. Fair. But he has stopped talking to people, so now is the time. This fine. I never wrap any of mine gifts. And that's yours as well. That is the one thing that is wrapped. Is this tube? See, she found us. Yes. Yes. This is the most wondrous time. It's like Christmas before Christmas. It's one way to open it. Camera light. Mm -hmm. Huh, barely. Nah. <laughs> it's all inside in it. still. No. Huzzah! This is what happens when you tape everything. <laughs> that is an adorable little dragon. I try that. I will tell you this. And I'm excited for this notebook in particular. I have been hunting for a new notebook as of late. Hmm? Well, I hope you like it. You must have the spirit of premonition. <laughs> Also, the spirit of premonition, for I lost. And Sue, I have lost my nail clippers. I, I, lose them I, need, all the time. I need new ones. You think you put them somewhere and then they magically disappear. Now, um, if I could, yes. I'm going to need you to sign this for me. But of course. Yeah, I can, well, I'll hold this stuff if you want me to. Because you take this, you yep. take that, mm -hmm. and I'll take this. 
Excellent. You got it going? Yeah, it's going. <laughs> we don't know if your wife has told you any spoilers or not. No, she has not told me a thing. Now, I would like you to close your eyes. I have a very special thing for you to sign. Put out your hands for me. Both hands, it's very heavy. Right. I found this, and I'm going to need you to sign it for me. <laughs> One moment, let me give it back. His Majesty is running away with her book. <laughs> It's a portrait of himself. He can't help but run away. I know nobody else will be able to have their autograph of Henry VIII, so... <laughs> this you know. is true. So. Well, I said it's going to be together forever. Mm, better be. <laughs> Thank you. Thank thee. Your things. Thank thee. And well, it wouldn't be me if I also didn't have stuff for you. So. I think back. you're gonna get a kick out of that. <laughs> no hitting people. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> we just met. <laughs> I absolutely adore this. <laughs> <laughs> we just imagined that you were gonna just go around poking people with it. <laughs> now, if you just sit there and poke the queen repeatedly, we get a good appeal. Oh, wait until the trouble I cause with this. <laughs> Ooh, fancy blade. Oh, he also got a notepad. Loving notepad, teddy bear. Yes. <laughs> A new friend! <laughs> the best version of Pig. So, I'll send it Catapult! Yeah. Yes, I am going to siege a castle at the end of this day. <laughs> that is not terrifying at nope. all. And then this, right here. A beauteous dragon pin. I am adding immediately to my reign. Hmm? You're poking Quiet, yourself. You? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I have broken. Oh no! I will make a pendant of this. Okay. Bang, I have a needle. Bang, I have a needle. Bang, bang. Ah, ah. Uh -huh. I don't know. Oh no! I, I feel like that's treason. Now you can tell your wife I drilled you. Listen, <laughs> I'll <am> not have <laughs> this. <laughs> Thank you so welcome. much. I truly adore this. I'm laughing now because that man has a shirt with a donkey unicorn. <laughs> and Fair. Anything's possible. Thank you, my ladies. Un my goodness, I am excited. to this one today, but I have to find it by feel and that's the truth. Ooh! Okay, I'm trying to keep up with Sarah. She is going to do archery with the queen. It's not an easy task trying to keep up with them. She looked back and see if we were. I'm trying. Oh, 
Traffic hazard. Well, that's why they made me own. <laughs> <laughs> something my mother made. This one will be fine. <laughs> she was worried that it wouldn't look good. No, the color quite suits you. Suits you. <laughs> it's a running gag of trying to figure out what material do you think she made it? What do you think she made it out of? Am I? I feel like I'm being set up for something I will never guess. Maybe. It's a lot. It's the curtains. Yes, this part is the curtains, and this was a pillowcase. Well, I would not have guessed the pillowcase. Very wise. But yes, picture. Where, where is she? 
Well, I feel like that escalated quickly. I don't think he's gonna see your sign. Thank you for coming. It's fine. I'll see you later. Performance of the Saras, the Shire's one and only sassy band. Because now I'm out to guitarist. Uh, <laughs> any instrument? Oh, wait. Oh, of course, Your Majesty. I'll go for it. I will. I, I will handle it, Your Majesty. Oh no, not her favorite musician. It might be fun. Mm. Calm your lord. Just one moment. I will be so. Your Majesty. Yes, Admiral. I stand before you humbly as your obedient servant. You are kneeling, but I will take that. Don't adopt me. You rise and speak your case. Well, ah, uh, so you were you were at our Saraz performance, and you uh you witnessed our our modified version of your a drop of Nelson Slug. Uh, well, you see, Your Majesty, uh, the treason is false. Very plain. Well, you see, uh, so the law explicitly forbids us from uh, speaking ill of his majesty, of course. Aye. And so, if I were the one who wrote that song, surely I would be the one at fault here. Yes, you would. And I would, uh, would, would stay your blade, your majesty. Let me finish. Please. But there is one person in all of England who is allowed to make fun of the monarchy and walk away living? Yes, and I am certain it is not you or Master Sweet. Well, you see, Your Majesty, Ima wrote that song. Ima, is this true? Now you see, art works in mysterious ways. Saved by gestures. <laughs> so you see, Your Majesty, because Ima wrote that song, the, the effects of the, the lyrics are Is null and void because it's it's Ima, gestures privilege. It's, it's a joke. How many times must I tell you? You have your privilege. Though it is funny to hear others have great jokes, it falls under bad taste because I don't like them. I just love this music. I can separate the band. It's not called by her most famous musician, but be humorous and a fantastic wedding anniversary gift because what better is a band than the gift of humor? And I told you it would be a surprise, even on the day. Oh, happy anniversary. Two birds, one soul. It's so funny. I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> well, Your Majesty, uh, I suppose there's uh, there's nothing left to discuss here aside from uh, perhaps an official pardon for Mark Sweeten. Pardon? Oh, yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, I can keep performing. Oh, I was never going to find another guitarist as good as Mark Smith. Yes, and just 
fine. Except for maybe Charlotte's father. But I don't exactly want to speak to John D. right now. Trust me. After the Reformation, he is living on a prayer. You are! You are correct, Your Majesty. As I am! Sean de Jovi! What? What? Charlotte, go to your room! Audible, gas! Room! Charlotte, sleeves! Let's sleep! Find them in your room! Fair. Bye bye. How can I tell? I wear this hat. They wear that hat. Oh, Master Sweden, come forward. Everything's fine, Mark. I explained that Ima wrote the song, and therefore, with Jester's privilege, we were not at fault for any offense that was given or taken. Master Sweden, I am so sorry. Will you ever forgive me for how I rudely treat you? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, of course, Your Majesty. May I treat you with a pony? Oh, oh my goodness, Your Majesty. You are too kind. Too, too, too kind. I try. And may I ask a small boon of you? Uh, anything, Your Majesty. Could you regale this crowd in my court with a wondrous song? A, 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 a song, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, uh, Preferably one without just the terms. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, a, 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 a fully uh, serious song. Uh, uh, Doth now no castle wall. Oh, oh, of course, of course, Your Majesty. I just have to put the case on the second friend there. But, uh, yes. um, would, would yourself and these people love to hear my rendition of castle wall? We would, but it's a good people. It's one of Mark Smeaton's greatest colors. All right. Well, uh, this, this one's for you, Your Majesty. Said maybe, maybe thou art the one that saved me. Saved me. And after all, thou art my castle. Before we continue on, just a small sip, a small drink. I right, we'll do the big toast later. But for now, let's just lift them up and make it loud. A toast! A toast! May you all live as long as you want, and never want as long as you live. Slunch, my friends. My friends, my friends, how about 
we had a grand day. Say aye. Aye. My lords and ladies, the crack show was just put out this year. A brand new album. A toast. A toast. May the road rise up to meet you and the wind to be at your back. May the sunshine warm up on your face and may you never lie. And may all of your days from the sun to that. <laughs> Oh, good Irish crack <laughs> You raised your kitty? That was so cute. <laughs> we just watched the witch trial. He is a kitty, too. <laughs> Ned, Ned, Ned's kitty. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> We're just out here praising you. Oh, all right. <laughs> He didn't burn me this time. It was really good. <laughs> I, got, I got away. I got away scat free. All right, my friends, this is what we're going to do. We are, uh, we're going to, um, oh my goodness. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> End of a three day weekend, my lords and ladies. Let's drink to that. Huzzah! <laughs> The she had got it. <sighs> okay, we got this. We got this. Just focus, focus, Daniel. My lords and ladies, when I say the words, I am the she I'm gunning. I need everybody here to give me a big hey! with a fist up in the air. All right, let's do it like we don't care. I am the she and got it. But I didn't see everybody's fist up in the air. All right, let's try it again. I am the she on got it. Oh, that was way better, way better. But I saw some people in the parking lot. I don't think they could even see my fist from that far away. I mean, you know, small hands. I don't know, average hands. Whatever. Um, so I, I'm gonna need something, Nate. What am I gonna need? Neto, what am I? What, what am I gonna need, Ruby? A broom.
man. Who's gonna who's gonna wield that one? Who's gonna wield it? Yeah, ice on the wolf, the fox and the tiger cats. <laughs> All right, is that? Uh, we got, yeah, I think so. Okay, right, 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 right. Lords and ladies, we're gonna do the hay three times in a row. I am the she and got it. First day's over. Figured I would just show off the walk out because I usually don't. Well, it's not a very long walk. And we might get to see some of the other acts because I think a couple of them wait out by the door with the court. Yeah, I want to pick Who? Yeah. The danger people? Bravery. Blaze and bravery, that's what yeah, it is. They're the people up there. Are they up there? Yeah, they're on the stage. Okay, I'll get the next one. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's the dude that was so wall of the sword. It should be.
good night, everybody. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I always Sitting forget that he's there. And, I'm like, what? and then he speaks. Yes. <laughs> You're right. Happy <laughs> <laughs> well. well. We have to wait on Tiffany. <laughs> to be fair, she's not that far behind. Oh, oh, you made me cry. No, that woman pinched a baby. She pinched a baby. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> are you gonna take a panorama of him? Oh. Well, let me get out of your way then, if that's what you're gonna do. <laughs> All right, my friends, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go back there, then we're all going to come out here to thunderous applause. Let me hear you!
do before this. Turkey trading with the drink ladies. I don't think we've explained that, but yeah, we've been trinket trading, but this is our food. But Tiffany and I both got this last time, but uh, I filmed it, but we forgot about it. It's fun. Trading? It's a lot of fun, but you have to be <laughs> not as introverted as I am. Yeah. But whenever people approach me, basically you have little tiny things that people want with. Um, what all did those ones take? They both took one of the keychains. Fair. <laughs> so it's almost time for the parade. Yeah. And you've done a couple more trinket trading things, I think. Uh, I know I did. I didn't, you did. Yeah. But we also did the dragon thing. The dragon eggs. Hatchery. Neither of us want a dragon. This no. is to be expected. Just put the necklaces into trading though. That's fair. It was worth it. It was fun. I mean, it was cheap-ish. So, it's kind of a tradition at this point. At least once. Yeah. So it's down this way now? I don't think they've actually seen what my look is like now that you fixed my hair. Now that's gonna be a U angle. Do a spin. Noise. <laughs> that works too. I wasn't wavered to that lady, but that works. I'm too awkward. It's on its way. It's not, we're in the garage. No, no, no. I'm going to join the garage. No, you're going to the garage. Douglas, you're going the wrong way. Oh, 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 oh. I hear them. Side 
Brooks Police Parade's coming through. I'm so sorry. I saw I got you put the funny thing on top. 
and I was immediately distracted by the shiny thing. gonna go do archery. Oh my goodness! What are you gonna win? Snake skin pendant. I think What do you think speaks to you? <laughs> no, touchy key. Hmm? All right. Oh, where did it go? Do I have it? I thought I did. Yes, I do. Ha! I have it. I'm also going to do plinko. Can I take a picture of him? Make sure your flash is off. Thanks for asking. I get a cool figure. <laughs> Thank you. Side quest 2.0. Who are you handing it to? The queen. Oh. oh my pair. She's, they said that they would know what pair. You know, I hate to say that, you know what I'm saying? I do it. You know what? I can What are you getting? She wants the stained glass window stickers. Oh. Yeah. Stained glass stickers first. <laughs> and then we have some bad news. You can imagine. From whom? Oh. <laughs> we found a um, pair of people. Yes. That's all I'm allowed to say. Don't um, scare me like that. <laughs> no, goodness no. <laughs> Just to be clear though, are you leaving us anytime soon? Not to my name. Thank God. You never know. Because mm. every year at the end of the year, we're like, are you going to be so sovereign she and everything? There, there is always a chance I don't want to lie to you. Are you giving me all of them? Yeah, them? I have more if you want them. No, I saw you, you shared these and I went, I want one of those. Go for it. Oh no, Please, take them Take them all. To put on my water bottle. Surprisingly enough, the thing that people have wanted the most of were the plushies. Yeah, this makes sense. Which was unexpected. So no, you, can I, have, I you can have many of them. Stained glass things in our house. I'm going to take all these. Did I give you one for this year? I did not. Plus we were interrupted by nighting delays. That's all right. <laughs> I must give you one to add to your collection. You must dig past the, the chunkier ones. Something I've never gotten, I think, one. 
I don't remember, honestly, what color I have and haven't had at this point. It never hurts Ooh, to have. green! <laughs> I tried to ah. get one with different batches of colours, but I am rapidly running out of them. Fair. You can be old. Yes. Like I said, you say you like something, I take note. Yes. I know, I took it down no one else can have it. Oh, it's and fine. Okay. I've still got all of these for people to choose from. Mm -hmm. We have more than enough things. Would you like a stained glass window? Yeah. Or is that a good Oh, no. Just glory to God. So. Oh, I'd like to ask you what your favorite colors are. Purple. <laughs> Take a safety box. Oh, that's beautiful. There you are. My favorite color is Now, I feel you may get a chuckle out of this. I certainly did. I didn't expect it to be this tiny. <laughs> it's a tiny <laughs> turtle. Would you like one? We yeah, have your pick. There's also bears and dinosaurs. Be very careful with this too. Honestly. the bitterness and to gain ourselves a bit more sweetness. Let's do some drinking! Awesome! We're going to save the final toast for the ending. But my lords and ladies, it does appear that we have royalty at our uh, little gathering here at the end. My lords and ladies, the queen herself has decided to come in and uh, perform a non one, but be here with us at the crack show. <laughs> but we can get her to come down and do a toast. What do you say? Yeah. Save the queen! God save the queen! Long live the king! Long live the king!
open, but I'd like to see how much the hard candy is. But I think I have. Yes, I, can. I will take your balloon. We're going to get a video going out. Which, by the way, is a crack show balloon. That's what I said. I got a crack balloon. Yeah, but I didn't show the vlog you got a crack show no, balloon. I had to crack yeah, had to. I love her outfit, by the way. Is it supposed to be like Beetlejuice? I love it. Okay. I do not know, but last I saw her, I think she was out that way. At least last time she was out that way. Oh, there she is, Tiffany. I see her. She's in between. So, the fair is now over for the year. Big sad. Uh, I vaguely showed off Tiffany's crack balloon. I just hope it does not crack on the way home. <laughs> that would be very unfortunate. Yeah. But, yeah. I just wanted to deflate on its own so I can keep it. That's us done for the 2024 Renaissance Fair season.